what's up? We got Bandana Rose, Bang Bang Bang, Get Money Gang, you know, Ghetto DVD Live. What's to it? What's to it with you, man? Yo, you already know, Tribal Chief of this shit, man. The Tribal fucking Chief, man. We trying to get you all the acknowledgements. You want the people to acknowledge you. They gonna acknowledge me, man. East side, west side, south side, wild hunters. Acknowledge me. Y'all already know what the fuck going on, man. Acknowledge me, man. On me, Chicago MVP, Chicago representative, man. You know what I'm saying? Niggas got to put some respect on that name. So that's why we got to get this acknowledgement from these people because I acknowledge all these people that paid the way and paid dues and put in work for this shit. You see what I'm saying? So whole time, though, why well, I can't get my shit? Let me find out I can't get my shit. Don't wait till I'm dead, nigga. So when you mean by acknowledge me, what do you mean? Like, show you, give you your shine, or give you your I credit. mean, acknowledge the work that I put in. <laughs> acknowledge the, <laughs> the shit that I did. Like, niggas, I like, I ain't do shit. I was signed with one of the biggest artists in the world, Fetty Wap. One of the biggest artists in the world. I got signed a year and a half after Chief Keef and them got signed. Let's be real. I was a part of the drill era. You know what I'm saying? I was on the college kids. I was on the rap catch up. I'm the first... Rapper from Chicago to actually be a blogger. Hmm. Whole Damn. time though. Let me find that out. Way, I want I don't want to cut your story off, but you when I first got out of jail three years ago, you did introduce me to uh StreamYard. I asked Mac Baby, I'm like, how the fuck he got us all Sorry, on Mac there like Baby, that? Man, my boy Mac Baby. I I say how do, he say, I don't know, it's StreamYard. You gotta download the app StreamYard. That's what he kept saying. He said, you got to download the app stream card. You know how Max is. Yeah, yeah. So then, I'm like, all right. So you introduced me. That's how I blew up on live with Dolph and stuff. You introduced me to live. So tell me more about how you, like. And it's crazy, like. You was the first rapper that blog, with Chris but you, just tell me, tell me something. I don't even fuck with Chris Barnes, but shout out that bitch ass nigga, because he the one that showed me. About the stream, y'all. You know, I'm a curious nigga, so I'm going to ask a nigga, if you watch a nigga that's doing something before you, like, hey, bro, how you do that or what's that? You feel what I'm saying? So I hit bro up. He showed me how to do it. So once he showed me the information, what you think I'm going to do? Pass Share it. Down. Share it to the, you know what I'm saying? These niggas get it and they charge a motherfucker. You see what I'm saying? No, bro, we got to start understanding in order for us to be successful and to be where we need to be at as people and black people as niggas anyway. We got to help each other, bro. Everybody else helping each other. And we're in the same league anyway. So why would I charge you for some shit that a motherfucker taught me for free? You know what I'm saying? So that's what I mean by acknowledgement, bro. Like a lot of people I didn't put on. A lot of people I didn't help. Even when I was doing the Fetty Wap thing. I'm signed with the same label as uh, Fetty Wap. Fetty Wap a part of RGF. I was signed to RGF. The same label as Fetty Wap. Then had a deal on the table because he wanted to sign me to Zoo Gang. That's where the Zoo Gang tattoo came in from. You see what I'm saying? So people don't understand that shit. Give me the acknowledgement from the, the 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 work that I put in. Don't don't cover all the bullshit like Truth Tellers will pop all the bullshit about me and EBE bands when we was into it and the King Lowe's and all this other goofy ass shit. You know what I'm saying? The whole time though, talk about the real shit that Bandana Rose did. How I'm the first nigga to start versus for Chicago. To have GDs and BDs and different type of gangs and different type of motherfuckers in the and pandemic. And it's all fun. It has they they family having a ball. members and everybody Every, professing, participating. They're having a the ball, gang. These niggas calling me looking forward for this shit. They going to the store. They got their drinks, their guys, their guns. I didn't bitches. know C Hood was on versus before. Yeah, shout out C Hood, man. It's my boy, man. Me and, hey, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. C Hood, a real one, man. I ain't gonna lie to you because when I met Lil Bro, you know what I'm saying? I always looked at niggas a certain type of way because of the media. The media hide who a motherfucker really is. Be myself, see, they can't take me because I'm myself on camera and off camera. You see what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, when I see a nigga come like bro, and he like, man, fuck all the other shit, I'm with this, and he actually showing what he on, you can't do no more lock in and rock with a nigga like that. You feel what I'm saying? You know, I, I used to rock with Queen Gay K47. But Queen Gay K-47, he a lame-ass nigga. He a bitch-ass nigga. He a wannabe-ass nigga. And the whole time, I don't like niggas like that, bro. Because you ain't finna be a nigga that tell me I'm actually from the streets, bro. And I know I did my best not to try to catch cases. But nigga, you talking about you ain't caught no cases? And Cleveland is worse than Chicago? Yeah. You ain't true. been to jail only in, 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 since you was in, 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 in Lil Boy. Eddie Murphy said that's the worst city he went to was Cleveland. Hmm. <laughs> you heard me. 
I know some niggas in Cleveland. Shout out niggas in Cleveland, man. And Cleveland get down. Bone thugs. Cleveland get down. But for you to be out there, bro, and you be talking about Chicago the way you talking about Chicago, ain't doing nothing for the city, bro. That ain't nothing but a nigga taking from the city, bro. And then don't want to help out a real nigga who the real tribal chief, who the real voice of the motherfucking streets. Nigga, that's me, nigga. All the time, though. What made you realize that people was just trying to take from our city and not trying to really help our city? When they start like, coming like, back. Like, 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 they, like they want to promote the killing and the violence, but they don't want to help with the killing and the violence. When they start coming back. When niggas want to stop, when they start coming back. Niggas be like this and all of Chicago, this, that, and the third. Want to take everything from the city, but niggas stop coming back. Why? How could you stop coming somewhere where you used to always eat at? You, your family at, schools, everything where you grew up at. It's okay to move, but come back. And then, think about this shit, right? This is the shit that pissed me off about the niggas, right? Everybody from every hood, south side, east side, west side, wild hunters, whatever. They got somebody that done blew up, that done came, that became famous. Don't none of them niggas come back to the hood and help out none of they guys. You can go to the strip club, blow 10,000, 20,000, whatever. But you can't go drop that 10 and 20 off of that care package in the hood where you grew up at. Where niggas made sure you was straight, protected. Where you was able to go to the studio and you, hey, hey, bro, they just took my car. They or, just robbed me. You feel You know, sometimes I be feeling like the the younger guys or guys now in Chicago, like, like you know how all the uh, the guys, what do they call it? Lunatics, all the same lunatics. Yeah. Help Nelly to get on before they got on. Yeah. They don't don't know, know that principle. Like sometimes you might see something in somebody else that you don't have, mm -hmm. and you might have to help him out mm -hmm. to get to that level. What's yeah. wrong with that? No, why they yeah. don't do that in Chicago? I ain't gonna lie that to ain't you. heard of. What 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 about that? I ain't gonna lie to you. Chicago just fucked up. There's too many people that selfish. There's too many people that's on demon time, man. There's too many motherfuckers that want to be tough. Niggas don't want to be cool no more, man. Niggas don't want to be cool no more. And it got to a point right now where every motherfucker is segregated, bro. Because of the internet. The internet made everybody segregated and selfish, bro. Niggas growing up on the internet. They ain't growing up like how we grew up, bro. In the field houses, in the park district, going outside. You feel what I'm saying? They don't even go outside no more. They on the internet. So it's just at the end of the day, people don't know how to communicate with each other no more, man. They don't know how to come together and get along with each other for without having a hidden agenda. You know what I'm saying? Trying to backdoor nigga or doing for some clout or some money. Everybody got to have a hidden agenda, a motive. You know what I'm saying? Every motherfucker got to understand, bro, we in the same fucking boat, bro. It don't matter if he got a nice car, he got a little bit more money, you just think he's still in the same boat as you. 